Well, the animal loving community is getting bigger in Elk Grove. A new shelter just opened. Yeah, Lori Wallace is there live checking out all the new digs and all the animals that she'll be taking home. Oh with my her. goodness, who is this love? <laughs> I have a new running partner. Oh, oh Yay! Me and Lentil. Oh my <laughs> gosh, he's so cute. He's great. One of the little pups here up for adoption. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I'm going to let him off the leash. Can I let him off the leash? We're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Can like, I let him off? Can I let him run loose? Here we go. I'm going to hand him off to Sarah real quick. Take so a look. Cute. This is our first time hanging out at the Elk Grove Animal Shelter. Brand new. Uh, the cool thing about this place, and I stopped by over the weekend oh, just to check it out on my own. So many dogs have already been adopted. Oh, good. So Pinky and the Brain there that you see, they are available for adoption. But a lot of the... the um, Oh, crates here are empty because a lot of people have already come by and found their oh, forever friends. So, so Sarah, cute. let's talk a little bit about this place. Long time coming, huge project. Now you guys are finally open to the public. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It was something that the city has deemed they needed more capacity for sheltering animals. We were, you know, becoming, the number of animals coming from our city was becoming a burden on Sacramento County. So we decided that for the convenience of our citizens and for, um, the ability to shelter our own animals as our city continues to grow that this was a needed project okay so we're going to go for a little walk because this place is actually huge so you have the cats on one side we were just in there the dogs on this side and then of course you have other small animals uh that are probably going to be coming in as you guys uh here i'll, t I'll take my little friend lentil okay i'm going to grab lentil here um so people can come by they can take a tour around you guys are having a grand opening on the 12th Yes, we're very excited about that. We'll have um, our official ribbon cutting on the 12th with uh, our, our city council members and other um, city dignitaries um, here to talk about the project and celebrate with us. Okay, so real quick, volunteer opportunities and donations. Um, a lot of people have been asking about those two things. Tell me what you can... Um, what you can ask the community for as far as when it comes to donations. I know you've already gotten a lot. Yes, we have. Um, we are looking for newspapers, towels, blankets, sheets, some um, bedding, and uh, treats, dog toys, cat toys. We'll take collars, um, gently used leashes, uh, things of that nature. We are full on food. The community has been very <laughs> generous with food, so we They're don't They're not going to be hungry. All right, take a look around out back here. I wanted to show you these areas that they have designated for the dogs, for their walks, and for when people come to adopt, a place for them to come and meet the animals. So if you have volunteers come out, this is an area that they might get familiar with pretty quickly. Yes, very quickly. Um, our volunteers will be great at helping us get the dogs out on walks, um, playing with the animals, uh, giving them what we call enrichment, which is some treats and toys and interesting and new new novel things for them to enjoy while they're here at their shelter. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. They can take about 65 animals here, so if you come on by, 65 dogs. dogs. How many cats? cats? 55 cats. So just over about 100 animals here. Uh, feel free to stop by anytime, take a look around, visit with the animals, hopefully take one home if you can, yeah. um, and maybe bring a donation because they can they can use the help. I'll send it back over to you. I love me some pinky in the cool. brain. So cute. That is really cute. <laughs> Let's see how many she takes home. Yeah. Today, 